Hello everyone. Well, today I am going to do some pairs. I was thinking back uh, a few videos ago, I did uh, a pureed pear and dipped it in chocolate and that was so delicious, the uh, pureed freeze-dried pears, that I haven't done pears before other than canned pears. So I got me 10 pounds of pears and we are going to freeze dry them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bowl and I'm going to take the skins off of these and then slice them up and we're going to soak them because I was reading online you can soak them in 7-Up instead of lemon juice. And I got some 7-Up so we're going to soak them in 7-Up so they don't go brown and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay so there's my 10 pounds of uh, Hair soaking in my 7-Up and there's my scraps that I got left over I think we'll have to feed those to the chickens of course I don't have any chickens so I don't know I might just go dump them in my uh, berry patch what do you think they'll rot in there won't they okay I'm not really gonna weigh these out or anything I'm just gonna I know I started out with 10 pounds of pears and I can't have more than 10 pounds now with all that I cut off. So I'm just going to spread them out evenly over my four trays. I'm going to have to do something I don't very rarely do, which is put these in my freeze dryer unfrozen. Normally I pre-freeze everything, but my freezer is absolutely chocker block full. So we're going to put these in unfrozen. So I'll let you know how long they took if I remember to, to take note of that. So let me get these all trayed up. Next time you see them, they'll be coming out of the freeze dryer. Okay, got my freezer going. I thought I'd just come back and let you know that that uh, juice in here, the 7-Up and the pears juice, I put that with some ice cubes. And that is absolutely a gorgeous drink. So I'll be drinking that. Not gonna let that go to waste. Beautiful taste. Peach, not peach, pear, and seven up. Just thought I'd put that in for you. Okay, here we have it. That's less than 10 pounds of pears, and it took almost exactly 60 hours. Now, I did add some dry time, but the, I have tons of ice in there too. So I was kind of surprised at how long it took, but then again, I did have put them in there unfrozen, which I normally never ever do. I normally pre-freeze everything. So I want to get these packaged up real quick, and then we'll do a taste test on them. Now as I'm packing this last tray here, I want to show you that they do stick pretty much to the uh, silicone mat and that might be a lot to do with the sugar and it might be a lot to do with in you know the 7-up but also the uh, could be the 7-up seven, seven and sugar and uh, but they still come across off alright and they kind of stick together just snap them like that Ignore my phone ringing in the background. Sorry about that. <laughs> but what I want to do, I was putting about half a tray of these in a double meal pouch, which I get these pouches from Top Mylar. They are the shorter pouches with a Ziploc at the top at the wider part of the top which I really like these bags now when I first took these out these had what felt like tasted like a little bit of a chewiness to them and as they've cooled down they have become more crisper so just bear that in mind you might think they might not be done when you take them out 
just leave them sit for a little bit and see if they get crispier. Now obviously you got to take into account humidity. You want them sitting them out forever. Just a few minutes as they cool down, they tend to crunch up like that. So as I'm packing them, I'm just kind of breaking the little pieces apart because they come up like that. Okay, so I've got them bagged up. Let's open up my O2 absorbers. I should have eight of those. Eight bags. I'm just going to open this up. Drop a 300 cc O2 absorber and reseal it. Zip lock it, re zip lock it. Alright, so I got two left over. That's a good sign since I had eight pouches and these are packs of ten. So that means everyone's got a Thing in it. So I'm going to put those two back into the pouch and put a heat seal on that. Heat seal these up and I'll be right back. Alright, there you have it. Eight pouches of pears, which was just under, or actually just over 10 pounds prior to pilling and coring. Freeze dried in my freeze dryer in about 60 hours from unfrozen and it took me a few minutes to package these up so let's kind of see how these have come out they've cooled down kind of like styrofoam but it's a beautiful pear tasting styrofoam well, there you have it a short simple one 10 pounds of pears by john and bibbs freeze-dried i'll see you next time